Hello everyone and welcome back. So I recently made this unpoppable balloon scene in Blender and what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to make all of this. The only thing I won't be covering is the lighting and the materials but we're going to be doing everything from the modeling to the final animation and camera position. So this one over here is what we'll be making today. I'll be showing you guys step by step going through this process. Now if you guys want to have the lighting and materials and you guys want to see my original scene file, those of you who are on Patreon will be getting this like I always do. I give these scenes to my Patreons and some of my Instagram stuff and if you don't want to do that I'll also make it available for $2. So that's all going to be in the description below if you want access to this original one. But if you don't want to do that you can just stick around and we can just do this scene over here and you can go ahead and do your own lighting and materials. Totally up to you. So let's get started. I think it's going to be a fun one. Okay, so when you scene open up in Blender, go ahead and delete everything. Then go Shift A, go to your mesh options, add in a UV sphere. And then we're going to go S.2 and hit enter. And that's going to um, scale it 0.2. So it's going to be a lot smaller. I think one fifth of its original size. And then we're going to go Control A and apply the scale. Tab into edit mode. Enable your proportional editing. Then grab this vertice at the bottom. And then go G, Z. And pull this down and if you roll your middle mouse wheel you can increase or decrease the proportional um, editing so i'm going to go down to about here then i'm going to select this loop over here and then go alt s and just scale that in a little bit just so we have this shape here grab this vertice in the bottom again disable proportional editing go control plus to grow the selection and then go e z to extrude it down and then s to scale it and then go um, e z scale it down and then E S, and then E Z again, bring it down a little bit, and then grab this little point here and go G Z and just bring it up in there. So we've just made this little thing here. Then we're gonna go add in a subdivision surface modifier and tab out of edit mode. So here is our balloon. We're gonna go to object and enable um, shade smooth. And you can spend as much time as you want on here. I might even just come in here, just select this loop over here this loop of vertices in there and just go S to scale it in. And you guys can spend as much time as you want to make that look realistic. I'm just going to leave it at that. Then what I'm going to do is grab this guy and go G, Z and just move it up so it's sitting on our floor here. Then I'm going to go um, Shift A, add in a plane. And I'm going to go S, Y and scale this guy in on the Y. Tab into edit mode and in my right orthographic view Make sure you're in your right view. Go to your edge select, select this guy here and go E, Z, extrude it up. And then E, Y, bring it back a little bit. And then E, Z, just bring it down a little bit. And then we're gonna go Shift D, right click to let go. And then E, Z, and extrude that up. Just like that. And then go A to select all of it. And then S, X, and scale it along the X. Just so we have this nice backdrop. Then we're gonna come here, grab this edge double G just to slide it forward a little bit and then E Z to extrude it down and then E Y move it back a little bit and we're going to grab this guy as well and just go G Y just move them both back like that and then grab this edge here and then go control B and just bevel it like that and roll your middle mouse wheel just to smooth out that corner then go to object enable shade smooth and go to object and then enable edge split just like that. So add a modifier and an edge split. And here we have a nice backdrop and we can also just come in here, grab this edge at the back, shift D, right click to let go and then go E, Y and just extrude it along the Y. So we're just creating this nice scene here. Then I'm gonna come over here to my front and kind of to the left of this, the scene like this. And I'm gonna go um, control A and I'm gonna add in a camera. Hit the zero to go into that camera view, G, middle mouse button and I'm just gonna pull back. I go to my camera settings and I think for my original one, I'm just gonna have a look over here. Uh, let me see what I did with the camera. I think I made it an orthographic. No, okay, so we're gonna make it a perspective. So come over here with this camera selected, go to your camera settings and we're gonna leave this type of perspective, but we're gonna make the focal length 85 and hit enter. Then we're gonna come here to our output settings and make the Y value here 1920. So that's gonna give us a square aspect ratio. And I'm gonna hit double tap R and hold in shift just to move my camera and the viewport here. I'm just gonna get a view like this for now. I like that, maybe rotate it a little bit. And what we're gonna do now is grab, go to my front view, go Shift D X and move the, a balloon over like this and then Shift D X, another one. And you could use the array, but I don't see the point because it's just so quick and easy to shift and duplicate. 
and then shift D X and move on over here just so it fills out the space that looks really good let's add in a little poker thing so what I'm gonna do is go to my right view orthographic view and go um, shift a add in we're gonna add in a cone I'm gonna go R nine zero and I'll write orthographic view and hit enter to rotate it like this then S to scale it and then we're gonna go G and just bring it over here in front of our balloon like that tab into edit mode and then we're gonna go to face select select this face here and then go G Y and just move it forward a little bit like that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go E to extrude it and then ES to extrude it in like this and then we're gonna go shift D and then go E, Y, and extrude this out. And then we're gonna go E, S, extrude it in. And then just go E and extrude it out. A bit like that. And then go to Object, Enable Shades Move, and go here to your modifiers and add in an edge split. So let's have a look at that. So we should see this in our scene. And what we can do is tap into Edit Mode, grab this edge loop here, just go to Edge Select, select just hover over between these two edge loops, go Control R to add in a loop cut, double click, and then select this loop here, and then hit double G just to slide this in. And that's gonna fix this um, shading issue we have, just to add in a loop over there. And now what we can do is grab this guy, go into our right orthographic view, and what we need to do is just quickly animate it before we do our shape keys here. So I'm gonna just quickly look, reference my original scene, just over here on the side, just to see what I did. Okay, so from frame zero to frame 50. Okay, so what we're gonna do is come to frame zero, or frame one, and frame one, we're gonna go G, Y, and move this guy back here. So we're gonna go into our camera view, so it should be roughly there. And then we're gonna go I and insert a location key. And then we're gonna come to frame 50. And on frame 50, we're gonna go G, Y, and move this guy in to here. And we're gonna go I and insert a location key. And while we're at it, let's just come here to our end frames and make that value 80 and hit enter. Because we're only gonna be using 80 frames. And then what we can do is grab this keyframe here by clicking and dragging over it, the one on frame one, and go shift D and then drag it over to frame 80. So let's have a look at this. Like that. So let's grab this balloon now. Go to our object data properties, add in a, a basis, and then click one more time, add in a shape key. Drag this value up to one, and let's come to frame 50. Tab into edit mode, go to vertex select, and let's go into a wireframe. And we wanna come here at the front and select a vertice over here that is now front. And then we're gonna go G, or enable proportional editing. Then we're gonna go G, Y, and just drag this in. And I'm rolling my middle mouse wheel while I'm doing this. I'm gonna go G, Z, which moves that up a little bit. And this is just a matter of coming in here and trying to match this. You can bring in some of these vertices here. So we're just trying to match the shape of this cone. You can see what I'm doing here. And also, what's gonna, we're gonna to have to think about it. when this pushes in, air doesn't just disappear, it gets displaced somewhere. So we wanna take this balloon here and grab one of these end vertices and go, G and just move it out a little bit and grab one here so it's kind of squishing out. Grab this one at the top and just G and move it out a little bit. So this balloon's kind of has to look like it's expanding a little bit to the side as well as that air is getting displaced. And that's looking pretty good. So let's tab out of edit mode. And what we can do is come over here with um, to frame just go to your right off graphic view. So we want to look at these other balloons and just as this guy is getting close to the outside of this balloon, this um, edge here, we want to come here to this value of, um, on key one, we want to make this value zero on the shape key and then hit I to insert a keyframe. And then we want to move into frame 50 where this guy is fully inserted. And in frame 50, we want to go and make this value all the way to one and then we want to hit I, hovering over this, and have a look at that. So we should see this. Like that. And obviously what we want to do is, as it's coming back, we want to make sure 
that this guy is going to come out. So let's go to our right orthographic view and let's go look at it. So at about this point here, you can see that this tip is going away. So let us come here and make this value zero again and hit I hovering over this value. So it should pop back out like that. So let's just have a look at it. Let's play it again. Okay, and there we have our unpoppable balloon. It's looking really good and you can add as much detail to this as you want. I'm gonna go to my right orthographic view, go to my wireframe, just tab into edit mode of this backdrop again. B to box select these and drag and then go G, Y and just move this guy in so it's at the back here. So let's have a look at that. So here we have it, the unpoppable balloon and this is a completely loopable animation and it'll just keep going. So you can also grab the camera and just go R, Z, rotate it a little bit in and go G, X and move it like this, just so this is a little bit more centered. But this is pretty much it, the unpoppable balloon. And like I said, my original scene file is available. That's one of the really nice lighting and materials. I'm gonna be giving that to my Patreons like I always do. So go ahead, check that out in the link below. Or if you don't wanna do that, I can always make this scene available for $2 on Gumroad. So that'll also be in the description below. So go check that out. I'll see you guys later for another tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it.